good morning students of class 4 students i'm sure all of you are happy and healthy in your homes students please stay indoors and keep yourself safe students the vacations are over now and it's time for you to get back to study students in my last video i had explained and revise the exercises of comprehension and language structure exercise a of lesson 6 gulliver in the land of lilliput and today i'll be revising the language structure exercise a of lesson 6 and then explaining the rest of the exercise so those of you who have got the new edition of wordsworth english reader books please take out your books and turn to page number 49 lesson 6 gulliver in the land of lilliput please turn to page number 49 lesson 6 gulliver in the land of lilliput students today i'll be revising exercise a of language structure first and then i'll be explaining students our first exercise of language structure was on genders the masculine gender and the feminine gender now a noun that denotes a male is said to be of the masculine gender for example men lion hero dog etc whereas a noun that denotes a female is said to be of the feminine gender example woman lioness heroine bitch etc these are all feminine genders and now in this exercise students we there are certain words given in the box and we need to complete the following by choosing the correct masculine and feminine words from the box given below so students our first word is bridegroom and it's in masculine gender it's in masculine gender that's bridegroom and the feminine gender of bridegroom is bride bridegroom bride bridegroom bride dulha dulhan hindi we call this then student the second one the feminine gender given is male we need to write the masculine gender of male and the masculine gender of male is horse so we will write horse in the masculine gender of male so bridegroom bride horse maid horse ghoda and ghoda ka feminine gender kya hota hai ghodi ghodi ko english mein kya bolte hain beta mare now students a third one is duke and the feminine gender of duke is duchess duke duchess duke duchess then the fourth one is the feminine gender is given she bear we need to write the masculine gender and that's given in the box as he bear she bear he bear she bear he bear he bear she bear then the fifth one is the feminine gender is given as goose and the masculine gender of goose is gander gander goose gander goose then the sixth one stag that's a male deer and the feminine gender of male deer is doe stag doe stag doe stag doe so these were the genders now students our next exercise is based on word association when you hear a word what do you associate or relate that word with 
when you think of the following words what are the images that come to your mind immediately write five such words one has been done for you students let's first understand the first example the first word is mother first word kya hai beta mother and jaise hi hum ye naam sunte hain mother ka ye word suna humne the moment we hear this word what all things strike and keep coming in our mind and for example four words are given over here the first one is loving then caring sweet and understanding affectionate these are the words jo strike karte hain immediately when you hear the name of mother kon kon se words aapke dimag mein aate hain loving mother is loving her love is unconditional she cares she is caring she cares for you hai na she is sweet she is sweet for you she is the sweetest person for you isn't it she is understanding she understands all your needs isn't it then she is affectionate she is always showering her love and affection upon you so same way some more words are given and you need to think ki after hearing this particular word what all things immediately come to your mind so our next word student is ice cream ab ice cream uh, jaise hi humne suna kon kon se words hamare dimag mein aaye first of all how do you ice cream ko feel karo kaisa feel hota hai cold to summer season is going on and all of us long to eat an ice cream why because we want to feel the coldness of the ice cream melting in our mouth isn't it so the first word which strike us is cold c o l d cold then which is the second word which comes immediately strikes our mind delicious ice cream is yummy delicious isn't it everybody longs to eat an ice cream any time of the day isn't it then which another word sweet it's very sweet in taste and then when do we eat ice cream when we are happy so the next word which strike to us is happiness and when do we generally eat ice cream when we celebrate something so it is celebration so the words which strike to us after hearing the word ice cream are cold c o l d cold then delicious d e l i c i o u s delicious then sweet s w e t sweet that's the taste isn't it then happiness the name itself will suspect happiness h a double p i n e double s happiness h a double p i n e double s happiness and the next word is celebration we generally eat ice cream when we want to celebrate something isn't it on our birthday hai na on a parents anniversary on in a party isn't it so whenever we are uh, celebrating something we generally order an ice cream so the spelling of celebration is c e l e b r a t i o n celebration so again i'm repeating the words which strike to us when we hear the word ice cream and the words are cold delicious sweet happiness celebration cold delicious sweet happiness celebration then students next word is school now what which are the words which strike to us when we hear the word school discipline when the moment we enter the school we need to follow the discipline there are certain rules and regulation and we need to be we need to adhere to this so discipline is the first word which strike to us then punctuality we need to be time for school time for the class everything 
we need to be punctual when the moment we hear the word school the things which strike to us is punctuality if we are late we will be punished or scolded isn't it so the first word was discipline the second one was punctuality and then the third word is we need to follow the rules follow the instructions follow the order so which word suits immediately strikes to us and suits the word school obedience isn't it obedience everybody has to be obedient you have to obey the teachers you have to obey the elders you have to obey the seniors isn't it so the third word is obedience then why do we go to school learning isn't it so learning that's the main reason going for school acquiring knowledge and the best part of the school is whom do we meet in school our friends so everybody is missing the company of friends as lockdown is going on we are unable to attend the school so we really miss our friends so the words which strike to us after hearing the word school are the first one is discipline the spelling of discipline is d i s c i p l i n e discipline the second word is punctuality p u n c t u a l i t y punctuality the third word is obedience o b e d i e n c e obedience then the fourth word is learning l e a r n i n g learning l e a r n i n g learning then the fifth word is friends f r i e n d s friends so the five words when we hear the word school are discipline punctuality obedience learning and friends now students our next word is lemon lemon now the words which strike to us or come to our mind immediately after uh, seeing the word lemon are yellow lemon is yellow in color and whenever we see yellow color immediately the picture of lemon comes in our mind so the color of lemon is yellow then how does lemon taste it's very sour s o u r sour then how is the shape of lemon spherical spherical gol gol sa hota hai isn't it then it is very tangy the moment a drop of lemon juice you taste how do you feel you can feel that tang immediately on the tongue and then generally what do we use lemons during summer season rainy season we make squeeze the lemon and make lemonade to refresh our self so the words which strike to us when we think of the word lemon are yellow the first word is yellow y e double l o w yellow the second word is sour s o u r sour the third word is spherical s p h e r i c a l spherical the fourth word is tangy t a n g y tangy and the fifth word is lemonade l e m o n a d e l e m o n a d e lemonade so the five words which immediately come to our mind after seeing or hearing the word lemon are yellow sour spherical tangy and lemonade now students the fifth word is football abhi football sunte hi what all things immediately come to your mind it's a game 
and we want to play the game. We are unable to go outside, so we cannot play. So first, it's a game. Second, so much fun watching football or playing football. It's fun anyway. Either you play or you watch. Then you enjoy playing or watching football with your friends. So the third word is friends. Then where do you play football? For playing football, you need a big field. So the fourth word is field. Then you need a team to play the match with. So the fifth word is match. So the five words which strike to us after uh, reading the word football or listening to the word football are the first one is game. G-A-M-E game. Then the second word is fun. F-U-N fun. The third word is friends. F-R-I-E-N-D-S friends. The fourth word is field. F-I-E-L-D field. And the fifth word is match. So students let's once again revise. Now the words and the images that come to our mind after hearing or reading these words. The first word is mother. So the words associated with mother are loving, caring, sweet, understanding, affectionate. The second word is ice cream and the words associated with ice cream are cold, delicious, sweet, happiness, celebration. The third word is school and the words associated with school are discipline, punctuality, obedience, learning, friends. The fourth word is lemon and the words associated with lemon are yellow, sour, spherical, tangy, lemony. And the fifth word is football and the words which immediately come to our mind after uh, listening to this word are game, fun, friends, field and match. Now students, our next exercise is grammar glee. And in this exercise, we are going to learn something about verbs. Now students, what are verbs? The verbs are the actions. Whatever actions, whatever work we do are the verbs. Do we action hum karte hai? Verbs are also known as doing verbs. So now the verb has got different tenses and the tense of a verb tells us the time of an action or event and there are better three tenses. They are the present tense, which is also known as the now. Now, the past tense, yesterday, which has already been finished. The third is future tense, that is tomorrow, which is still going to come. So, three tenses. And now, in this exercise, students, we need to write suitable verbs to complete the following sentences. One has been done for you. The first one is he threw the ball to Prisha. Better, humko suitable verbs appropriate tenses mein likhne hai. Isn't it? So here the word threw is in past tense. Throw ka past tense threw hai and he threw the ball to Prisha. This is the first one. He threw the ball to Prisha and Throw kya beta? It is the past tense of the word throw. Now the second one is the teacher dashed the naughty children. What does the teacher do? The teacher punished the naughty children. The teacher punished the naughty children. Punish is present tense and the past tense of punish is punished. Now the third one. The woman is dash for the was. Ab beta yaha pe is diya hai. Hai na? Is hai. Abhi hume kya karna hai? 
इसके साथ हमें कौन सा टेंस यूज करना होगा इस मींस प्रेजेंट अब हमें यहाँ पे इज है डांश फॉर द बस है तो क्या हो जाएगा इज वेटिंग प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस द वुमेन इज वेटिंग फॉर द बस द वुमेन इज वेटिंग फॉर द बस फोर्थ द बेबी डैश एट मी विथ द स्माइल द बेबी लुक्ड एट मी विथ अ स्माइल द बेबी लुक्ड एट मी विथ अ स्माइल द बेबी लुक्ड एट मी विथ अ स्माइल देन द फिफ्थ वन माई मदर डैश टेस्टी फूड फॉर अस prepared my mother prepared tasty food for us it can also be my mother is preparing tasty food for us any one you can choose either it can be in past tense or in present continue tense so the fifth sixth one they dash apple and mangoes they bought you can also write they are buying apple and mangoes depends upon you whichever tense you want to choose he threw the ball to prisha second the teacher punished the naughty children third the woman is waiting for the bus present continuous tense fourth the baby looked at me with a smile look is a uh, present tense and the past tense of look is looked l o o k e d then fifth my mother prepared tasty food for us p r e p a r e d prepare that's the past tense of prepare and sixth they bought apples and mangoes bought is the past tense of buy b u y buy the past tense is b o u g h t so these were the verbs which we have filled in the sentences now students a next exercise is based on helping verbs a next exercise is helping verbs now what are helping verbs what are helping verbs helping verbs are verbs that help the main verb beta as the name says helping verb helps the main verb for example मिल्क इज बॉइलिंग मिल्क आपका नाउन है बॉइलिंग आपका क्या है मेन वर्ब है और इज आपका हेल्पिंग वर्ब है इज आर वॉज वर्ड ये सब क्या है बेटा हेल्पिंग वर्ब है इज इज द हेल्पिंग वर्ब फॉर द मेन एक्शन वर्ब बॉइलिंग तो बेटा इज आर विल हैव डू मस्ट कैन दीज आर ऑल हेल्पिंग वर्ब नाउ आर एक्सरसाइज इज फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स यूजिंग द हेल्पिंग वर्ब given in the box to complete the following sentences beta kuch helping verbs hi aur inko hame in sentences mein add karna hai and the helping verbs given in the box are the first one is will have are do must was can beta when जनरली हम फ्यूचर के साथ यूज करते हैं ठीक है हाफ जो है आपका प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस के साथ यूज होता है आर आपका प्रेजेंट टेंस के साथ यूज होता है डू इज अगेन प्रेजेंट मस्ट होता है बेटा जहां कंपल्शन इन्वॉल्व होता है है ना वॉज आपका इसका पास टेंस है एंड कैन अगेन ये एक generally we use it when uh, we are able to this is a model verb isko hum jab hum we feel ki we can do certain work tab hum use kar sakte we are not sure then only we use now our first blank is anil and sunil dash playing in the ground beta isme kaun sa aayega first mein anil and sunil बेटा फर्स्ट में अनिल एंड सुनील वी सी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट 
टू पर्सन प्लूरल हो गए अनिल एंड सुनील दो है यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्लूरल डांस प्लेइंग इन द ग्राउंड अब इतना आपको पता होना चाहिए इस सिंगुलर के साथ यूज होता है और आर प्लूरल के साथ और इस और आर दोनों प्रेजेंट में यूज होते हैं अब यहाँ पे डांस प्लेइंग है तो अगर हम इस प्लेइंग या आर प्लेइंग लिखेंगे तो दोनों प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस में होगा बट वी कैन नॉट यूज इस बिकॉज अनिल एंड सुनील ये प्लूरल है और इस हम हमेशा सिंगुलर के साथ यूज करते हैं तो आपका फर्स्ट में हो जाएगा आर अनिल एंड सुनील आर प्लेइंग इन द ग्राउंड अनिल एंड सुनील आर प्लेइंग इन द ग्राउंड आपका प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस में सेंटेंस हो गया वाई हैव यू यूज आर बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टू पर्सन एंड दे आर प्लूरल तो प्लूरल के संग हमेशा किसको यूज करना है आर में और टेंस हमेशा प्रेजेंट में आर यूज होता है यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस सो अनिल एंड सुनील आर प्लेइंग इन द ग्राउंड सेकेंड हाउ मेनी चिल्ड्रेन डैश सी इन द सर्कस नाउ इट्स अ क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी चिल्ड्रेन अगेन द वर्ड चिल्ड्रेन दैट्स इन प्लूरल सिंगुलर होता तो हम हैज यूज करते बट प्लूरल के संग हम क्या यूज करेंगे बेटा हैव How many children have seen the circus? How many children have seen the circus? Now the third one. Anita dash attend the wedding tomorrow. Ab eta tomorrow ye future mein ja raha hai. To hum kaun sa word use karenge? Kaun sa helping verb use karenge? Will. Anita will attend the wedding. टमोरो फ्यूचर में विल अटेंड और बेटा जब भी विल लगेंगे उसके साथ जो वर्ब होगा वो एज इट इज रहेगा उसमें कोई चेंज नहीं होगा वो अपने रूट फॉर्म में ही रहेगा बट टमोरो सेंटेंस में है दैट शोज की दिस विल बी इन फ्यूचर टेंस ओनली नाउ द फोर्थ वन डैश यू लाइक क्रिकेट नाउ वी आर आस्किंग सम वन सो do and d will be capital since we are beginning a sentence so do you like cricket do you like cricket so we are asking a question so we have used the helping verb do you ke sath do hoga theek hai then the fifth one we dash obey our elders compulsion aa raha hai beta so कौन सा वर्ड आ जाएगा फिर वी मस्ट ओबे आर एल्डर्स बड़ों का कहना हमेशा मानना चाहिए एक कंपल्शन है या मतलब यू डोट है नी ऑप्शन यू नीड टू ओबे योर एल्डर्स सो वी मस्ट ओबे आर एल्डर्स देन सिक्स कैच मी इफ यू कैन अगर इफ यू कैन टू कैच मी इफ यू कैन so catch me if you can sixth one then seven i dash unwell yesterday past me to so past me hamesha i hai singular hai to so kaun sa hum use karenge was i was unwell yesterday so again first anil and sunil are playing in the ground why have we used our because our ek to present yahan kyunki playing hai continuous mein hai aur present continuous mein r hi lagega isn't it is ya r aur r kyun laga because anil and sunil we are talking about two persons plural hai to jahan bhi plural hai wahan pe hum kya use karenge beta r anil and sunil are playing in the ground the second one How many children dash seen the circus? Have seen the circus. How many children have seen? ये आपका present perfect. How many children have seen the circus? This is a question. आपने children के साथ have ही लगाना है. Child होता तो हम has use करते. Isn't it? But children है तो plural के साथ have. Third, 
Anita dash attend the wedding tomorrow. Will attend the wedding tomorrow. This is in future tense. Fourth, do you like cricket? We have started with a capital letter because we are beginning with a sentence and we always begin a sentence with a capital letter. So, D of do will become capital. Do you like cricket? We are asking a question. And all the helping words can be used as uh, uh, big, used for beginning the questions. But you need to keep in mind that for which tense and for which word, which helping verb will be used. So, we cannot say, are you like cricket? Must you like cricket? No, it's a question. So, do you like cricket? Then, the fifth one, we must obey our elders. When there's an compulsion, then you use the verb must. Sixth, catch me if you can. Can, if you're able to do something, then only we use the word can. Seven, I was unwell yesterday. Now we have used was because it's used with a singular Noun or a pronoun. But in past tense, is ka past tense, was a is present tense mein singular cheech ke liye, was past tense mein singular cheech ke liye. Ye aapko dimaag mein rakhna hai. Aur is ka plural, r hai, was ka plural, var hai. W-E-R-E, var. And always remember, with single i, you always use m. A-M, m. I hope students, this exercise the helping verbs are clear to you. Once again, I'll revise. Anil and Sunil are playing in the ground. Second, how many children have seen the circus? Third, Anita will attend the wedding tomorrow. Fourth, do you like cricket? Fifth, we must obey our elders sixth catch me if you can seventh i was unwell yesterday and students please complete both the exercise of grammar glee a and b neatly in your notebook and when you notebook as well as your books also but notebook please do not make the box you simply write the seven sentences with the words. That's it. I hope exercise A and B of Grammar Glee are clear to you. That's all for today. Thank you students. Have a good day ahead.